I enjoy talking to you about this because these are stories that you can pass on to your children. <laughs> I look forward to it someday, maybe having some kids. I'd like to have kids. I'd like to have 19 kids someday. Yeah. Ooh, there's some eggs dropping in here tonight. <laughs> I want 19 kids. I want my wife's vagina to look like Stargate when I'm done. Kids just materializing out of it. <laughs> Hello. Cut this, please. Cut this. Thank you. All right. I'm ready for school. I hope I'm like my dad in many ways, except for one. Something my dad did growing up that it warped my brain for years. Changed the course of my life. My dad used to wear a robe. I don't know if your dads wore robes, but here's what drove me banana sandwich about this robe, okay? Okay, he, would wear, he had one robe, one robe. Not a bunch of robes. Oh, dad, oh, you're wearing the way? No, one robe. And he wore it every day. And here's the thing that we all hated in my family about the robe. First of all, it came down to here. It was like a cocktail dress rope. <laughs> and it was so old, it wasn't even fabric. It was made of like wheat <laughs> and items that he found in Korea that he fashioned together. The belt was a dead snake. My dad was wearing this robe one day. I'll never forget this. I was a little guy, right? Just a little chap. I'll never forget, we're laying on the couch together, it's one Saturday morning, me and my dad, and he finally looked over me and goes, hey little guy, how you doing over there little tiger? And I said, I'm good dad, I'm good, it's good to see you. And he said, it's good to see you there, bucko, it's good to see you. How you feeling this morning, you feeling good? You getting a little hungry? I said, yeah, I'm hungry, I'm, I'm thinking I want something in my belly. Well, what are you thinking about? What are you craving? What do you want me to get for you? Um, I don't know, maybe get some cereal. And just so you guys know, I had a very itchy eye when I was younger. <laughs> yes, I did. We had cats, and I think the dander <laughs> fucked up my eye. So this was very itchy. Don't be concerned. It was like a hive on my lid. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so my dad goes, I'm gonna go uh, get you some cereal. And then just the way he went to get off the couch, the robe opened like a show is about to begin. <laughs> and he wasn't wearing any underwear on this day. And I saw everything. And before this day, I had never seen anything except my own setup, you know? And I had a very simple plan going on, you know? I had basic cable, if you know what I'm saying. But he had the premier holy shit package. There was, oh! He had like cities in a downtown area. There was a wizard on a hilltop shooting lightning. <laughs> I saw a llama run down to his taint. It was weird. And I looked at it for a moment and then I tried to look away, but I was like, I was drawn to it. And sometimes you do a double take. I did like a fucking 12 take. I was like, ah, oh, no, no, wait, get out. Ah. <laughs> I could not stop. My dad quickly realized what happened and he, he covered up, but the damage was done. We were standing there, father and son at a crossroads of life, just looking at one another. And I will never forget you guys what my dad said to this very day, quote unquote, he finally took a long breath and then he said to me, someday all this will be yours.